Hi babes and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a brush review. I have the footage here so I'm going to insert it as I keep talking but I purchased the 360 blend brush set from Eco Tools, and um, I've been testing them out for a while because I really don't like foundation brushes and the first time I tried them I loved them and I thought they were life changing and then the second time I wasn't quite sure again so I've been testing them out for about a week and a half and I have to say I'm truly truly obsessed these brushes are so nice you guys and let me tell you when I first saw them I was like why do they come in a set of three why can't I just buy like the medium size one or the big one and call it a day but I truly see like why you need all three of them after having used them for a while um, I love the packaging on these. I think they're really pretty and just like really different and like I can always find these in my collection because of the shape that they have. And this brush set retails for $16.99 on altobeauty.com and in Ulta stores and it is called the 360 Ultimate Blend Kit. It has four and a half stars on Ulta's website so if that tells you anything as well you can always go ahead and read the reviews. And yeah, I'm so excited um, to share this video with you guys. I think that you... Like, you see me. If, if you have seen any of my videos, you know I do not use a foundation brush to ever, ever, ever do my foundation. I'm a strictly beauty sponge kind of girl. But these brushes are changing things. So, if you guys want to see how I apply foundation with brushes, then just keep on watching. And so, we're going to go ahead and start this video. I got them on sale, so I was able to purchase these and another Eco Tools product at the same time. And I actually felt like it was a good deal because I had been looking at this brush in particular because they only like, you know, they only display one because they all feel the same. And I was literally looking at it forever. Every time I went to Ulta, I would look at it and I'm like, that feels like it just feels so dense. Like it'd be like a great foundation brush. And so it was kind of back and forth, but finally I got them. And I was like, why do I need three? I literally was so confused as to why they wouldn't just sell the big one or the medium sized one like by itself. Um, if I really had to keep one, it would be just the foundation, or it would just be this one because I feel like it's the one that like you can do the most with if they sell them separately. However, I found out why you need all three. I'm going to go ahead and do some priming, and I'm actually going to do everything with the brushes because I feel like it. So let's see what primer. Um, I'm going to use the Master Prime Primer in the shade 100, which is, it's just white, but it's in the, like, blur and smooth one. I'm going to be using two primers today. I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the NYX First Base Priming Spray. I feel like my knee, my, I just took off my makeup, and I feel like my skin needs some moisture back. And some, I feel like spray primers really give you a lot of moisture, so... Okay, that feels lovely. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fan my face and make sure you can see the sheen on my face. I'm just going to make sure it dries before I go in with product. So, I've done both really light makeup with these brushes and I've done like a more heavier makeup. And I like them better with lighter makeup just because I feel like with lighter makeup it's not so much of a struggle. But I'm going to be using them with both today. So that you guys can get a really good feel for the product. So I'm going to take the Super Stay. You know what? I actually have this foundation in a stick and a liquid. So that's perfect. Um, and I have both in the shade. I have one in the shade 128 and one in the shade 130. So I'm going to take the stick side over here. Um, I actually haven't used this foundation with a stick yet. But as soon as I was like. Um, I kept trying it while I wasn't at the house. So I was like I should really try it with stick foundation. I'm sure it would be really good for it. Because I own two stick foundations. I own this one and the Revolution one. And I hate them. Because I feel like it's just not, it doesn't give you coverage. And I feel like, I don't know. I have my issues. So I feel like blending these out with um, sponges is so difficult that it's like not worth it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I have never found a brush that I like. To blend them out but I've never seen a stick foundation look so good in my life do you see that look how nice look how nice and smooth it looks so good and so so nice so I'm gonna do this other side of my face and because I'm getting to a more like narrow area of my face I'm gonna be using 
the second brush, which is like the medium one. All right, so that's looking really good. I don't know if I should, because I'm actually going to be going out after this. I don't know if I should apply this one and then this one on top or what. You know what? I'm going to do a pump of this. No. This just looks so good. I've never seen a foundation look that incredible. Um, it's a stick foundation, so. This um, 128 shade is definitely more my color in this foundation range. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but... This one's definitely more my color. I've used these brushes with, obviously now these two foundations, the Super Stay ones. I've used them with the Make It Revolution Pencil and Define, the um, Fit Me by Met and Poreless, the Wet n Wild one. I've tried a lot because I really, like, I hate, like, I don't, I really thought something was wrong with me. I was like, maybe I'm using the wrong product. Like, I couldn't figure it out. And that was so frustrating to me because I was really thinking like, I see all of these people doing their makeup with a foundation brush and I have a ton. Like, I know that um, some YouTubers really like the Y7 from Morphe that it comes in their Gilded collection. This brush just doesn't seem dense enough to me and it leaves like streaks. And then this is the Y6 from them. Hate it. Like, I don't like foundation brushes. Like, this is not leaving a single streak. Like, there are areas where I get a little bit, like, a tad streaky, and then I can just, like, pat over it, and it's gone. Like, gone. So, I'm just going to blend this smaller area of my face and kind of blend the products together so that it's a little more seamless. But I'm serious. Like, it looks so good. So, for my nose, this is kind of when I discovered why you need it both. I tried to do my nose with the biggest brush. It did not work. So I'm using the smaller one. This is like the medium sized one. I feel like now that I have discovered discovered these brushes, I'm going to be able to enjoy my stick foundations. Look at... I guess this doesn't come with very much product. Now I'm noticing. But like, you see that? I barely used any and that's all that's left. Like, how much does this come with? Because... The Super Stay Stick comes with 0.25 fluid ounces, and the liquid comes with one fluid ounce. So, but I like stick foundations in the sense that, like, I find that they're really easy to apply for like every day, because they're easier to apply with a brush, in my opinion. Again, that was my opinion before I discovered these amazing brushes. So, love, love, love. Look how beautiful! Like, my skin looks so good. Um, I, I, I used to never believe that I was going to get those results with a beauty sponge, but, um, and then I think what I used, I normally use two concealers, so I'm going to use just a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape down here. One thing I will say with this is that you have to use a little bit less concealer than you normally would, and I honestly think that's just because it's, like, a little more intense, um, like, you, you don't lose as much product. So, um, anyway, at least that's what I'm gonna say is why. So, again, for this part, I take the medium-sized brush to begin to, like, buff everything out. And then for this smaller, more precise area, I'm gonna take the small brush. And this small brush actually is really good for applying primer and stuff to your lid. I used it with the MAC, um, paint pot the other day to prime my lid. And it was the easiest application of the MAC Paint Pot that I had ever had. So, now you know. It's just like, this is thick enough to pick up product and also blend it out super seamlessly. And I'm just going to take my sponge next to me and I'm going to pick up some powder. Make just a little bit. Yeah, guys, I just really felt like I couldn't recommend, like truly couldn't recommend any foundation brush. Because there was not one in my collection that I even remotely liked. Like, I would use one and then I'd have to feel like I would have to, like, go over certain areas. Or, like, still go back in with a sponge to, like, make it look decent. And, like, that's just not what it's about for me. Like, I'm not going to recommend a brush to you guys that I don't think is genuinely going to get the job done, like, by itself. Okay, so I have not tried this, but I'm actually going to pick up powder. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to pick up the powder with the brush just to see... Looks pretty good. 
It honestly looks as if I had done it with a beauty sponge, which is like exactly what I want because the reason I use a beauty sponge is because I love that result the best. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera and now I'm going to go with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain. Um, just to kind of show you guys, like this is a product I haven't picked up in a long time because I didn't find that I had a brush like good enough to distribute product evenly and quickly enough. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do the rest of my face kind of really quickly off camera, but I just really wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on these brushes, so I'm going to get this face looking right, and then I'll come back to just, like, chat with you guys a little bit more and give you my final thoughts. Alright guys, so final thoughts. I actually just did, like, a really basic makeup look. Um, I actually just have a little bit of lip liner and some lip balm on. Um, one of my favorite lip balms is the Vaseline uh, Lip Therapy in the rosy lips color. I think it's just like really flattering and like got a little bit of sheen. I don't know why I threw that in there. But, so I'm on the Ulta Beauty website and I just finally like figured out the name of this brush set. This is the 360 Ultimate Blend Kit. It retails for $16.99. Beautifully soft, dermatologist tested, and they're 100% vegan. I didn't know these were vegan. Okay, so that's like the tea on that, but I think the one thing that bothers me, I don't know why these brushes roll really easily on my desk, like, alright, so it's not something that I could really show you guys, but like a brush like this doesn't roll like a brush like this does. These brushes, they're like rounded so perfectly that they just, they roll. So I'm like, I'm constantly finding myself like catching them and chasing after them on my desk. But, other than that, they're really, really good. I honestly, look, my makeup looks like if I had done it with a beauty sponge. And it looks flawless. And, like, mind you, I did one side stick, one side liquid. And I'm so impressed. Um, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to try to do my freaking foundation with a brush like this. Like, these Eagle Tools brushes have stolen my whole heart. I bet that washing them is going to be really hard just because how dense they are. But it's gonna be worth it. Let me tell you, I'm I'm a ride or die for those brushes now because I really feel like they just leave my skin looking really, really good. And I finally think that I can like start branching out into like stick foundations because I have brushes that like I think are gonna work well with stick foundations. So all in all, 10 out of 10, totally recommend. I know the price is a little bit high for three brushes, but like to be able to do your foundation consistently with well, consistently well with a brush, I think it's worth it. Um, also, if you get them at Ulta, Ulta always has sales on them. Uh, like, always has, like, sales going on and on. So, just, like, download the app maybe, check it out, go in store before you buy them. Really think about it because, um, I've been wanting them for a long time and I finally like, was able to, like, buy them on sale. It was, like, buy one, get one 50% off. So, I bought that and I bought something else. And so, yeah, that's the tea. I really like these brushes. 10 out of 10, recommend. And... If you guys have not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!